single one of these old telephone poles have got this bird nest on. Yeah, just the size and the shape differ. and we've got about 225 kilometers to cover to get there. Come again? 225 kilometers to get to Strijdenburg from Kopperton. I hope it is tall. Yes, it's tall all the way. Because otherwise we're going to get to Strijdenburg at midnight. <laughs> How phenomenal is a Karoo sunset? Pretty phenomenal. Oh! Half past six and we are turning on the N12 to Strijdenburg. And already it's a busy road. <laughs> yep. Look at this. the road to Kimberley I see. Yes. All right. Strijdenburg, least, here we come. At least I saw Strijdenburg on a board for the first time. Now you're happy now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Strijdenburg. We have arrived. Quarter past seven. Can you believe it? Now you're going to have to help me where to go. I don't know which yes, direction to go. I shall do that. Looks like very quickly we have to turn right. Yes. Into what they say is Church Street. Turn. This is a, a dead end. Uh, I don't know. We've got to go a little bit further. A little bit further. Oh, this is the main road. Doesn't look like it's light shedding. The street lights are on. Be it faint. The rest looks very dark. Yeah. I think it's, it's one, of those. one of those. Yes. yes. All right. Now yeah, we'll explore in the morning. J and W guest house. Yes. 
This is us. So, this is where we are staying. This place is huge. Massive old style kitchen. Washing, even a washing machine. This light's a little dull, but this is the lounge, TV. A lovely little veranda. And this is our bedroom. Nice creaky wooden floor. <laughs> and yes, the bathroom. The days are getting longer. The further away we're getting from home, it takes longer for us to reach our final destination for the day. And we get, got here just after seven this evening here in Stradenburg and at our guest house is called J&W Guest House but it's time for me to download all these videos I took today and go and have a shower and hit the sack I am bushed Sonia too so we've had a long day from 6 this morning till 7 tonight it's, it's pretty heavy we'll see you in the morning this morning we're having our coffee with Skeins Cook that's going to be so nice to start the day like this. We didn't yesterday, but today we will. Good morning. Welcome to Stradenburg. We've woken up. You've just seen that we're having our coffee. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy the coffee now. Standing here by a beautiful lemon tree. And um, we're going to go pack up the car and start exploring Stradenburg and see what it's got to offer for us. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> You know how many times I've had to bend coming through here because I'm so tall and coming through underneath everything is like crouching the whole time. I know, I don't have to bend at all. <laughs> <laughs> so quite a few trips to the car and back, eh? Many trips to the Got car. Got a lot of stuff this time, how's no, that? No, it's not, it's just the car's far away. This oh, time. It's okay. Back and forth the whole time now. Yeah, the lemons are cool, eh? Yeah, this morning when I greeted everybody, I stood over this lemon tree. And it's the thick-skinned ones, which oh, I love so much. Nice but there aren't enough ripe ones for me to beg a few. There aren't any ripe ones. No. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so two more trips to the car and then off we go. Off we go. Okay. I'm just going to fly the train.
I must take you for a walk through this beautiful garden here in Stragenburg. We, it was absolutely gorgeous staying here. And they've made so much effort with this yard. There's so much bird life here. sit under here. How beautiful is this? It's an old fire hydrant. Look at that. <laughs> She's with a little quid slept last night. Look at the size of this yard. This. It's like a peaceful feeling one gets here. Budgies. Hey. How cute are these? We always say we had a wonderful stay when we leave, but this place was absolutely amazing. Oh no. <laughs> Bye. Absolutely stunning. It's fantastic. I don't want to leave. Yeah. Buy a donkey. Bye. And you come out on a gravel road. I mean, <laughs> no. Look, this felt like home to yeah, me. It's so homely. And the attention to detail is phenomenal. No, brilliant. Oh, it was fantastic. I feel so relaxed this morning. Yes. Oh, I really don't want to leave. <laughs> so let's see what Stradenburg looks like. Yes. One we've always, always missed. Yes. And we've we had to come. Travelling around it never got to it. Yeah, because it's so far out the way. So I made a specific point of coming to Stradenburg. It's way off course. And we're covering many kilometers just to see Stradenburg. Yeah, but so, it's fine. It was yeah, worth it just yeah, for the guest Definitely. House. So it's J and W, John and Vanda. Vanda. And where is it here? Yes. It's fantastic. All right, so now that the sun behind us, is this better? Much better.
So they've lived here for 33 years. Sure. So that's the kind of vibe I get, hey? That people have lived here for a long for a time. For a long time. This used to be the post office, I think. Yeah, there's the agency across the road now. Look at his wire car. <laughs> I did hear quite a few big trucks during the night. Yes. That never ends here. like apartments to me now. No, it's totally locked up. Yeah. Oh, this is where we came in last night. Yes. Everything looks so different during the day. It does. <laughs> it's okay. Don't know about you, but I spotted a few things on the main road that I'd like to go and inspect. Let's go and do that. Is the young fellow with his wire car. Love that. Stop here at the church. Yeah, it looks very interesting, the facade. Different, eh? totally, totally different. With all the rocks. And that, um, is that mosaic tiles? I don't the know orange what that is. And red colors there. That is different, eh? Very much wow. so. What an impressive church, eh? Yeah! So 28 January 1966 And the generators are running because it's load shedding. The memory wall. I'm really impressed with this facade of this church. It's different. I haven't seen any other church look like this. Mm. And um, it's not that old, eh? No, not that old at all. 66. I would have thought 60s, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. I would have been right here. I'm not often right. <laughs> yes. I'm always too late. But um, there's the police station opposite the church. Yes. And the town of Stradenburg is coming alive. Yes, they're starting to wake up. Yes, everyone is walking to work, municipal workers, police, staff. Interesting to see. This looks as if it was Stradenburg meeble makers, the furniture makers. And they, it looks as if they don't exist anymore. But look at that telephone number, 120 or 121. No, but relax. The number was 120. After hours, it was 121. <laughs> With P.O. Box 64. So they even had after hours call if you had an emergency call for, uh, for, fur for furniture. Or if someone broke a window. So it's Stinkhout, Swartout and Eikerhout. 
I only know acre hoot is oak. I don't know how the other two. I well, don't know. Swart hoot might be just called blackwood. Yeah, I'm not sure. And stinkwood. Stinkwood, yeah. Okay. But do you see here the Fertuin Lukal showroom the on show, the right? Yes. So this used to be the showroom. This is incredible. Do you know with those phone numbers, we're talking more than 40 years ago, if not uh, longer. Definitely. I just love that. Yeah, it is. I'm on a dial one to one tonight. <laughs> I don't think you're going to reach anybody. <laughs> Some emergency number on MTN. <laughs> wow. Oh, that road is closed. Yes. Yes. I love the side street. Oh. Look how pretty this garden is. Incredible. They just switched off the sprinklers. Yes. So pretty. Look at all this like aloe type vibes. This house is right on the road. <laughs> it's incredible. I wonder if they have a I love Stradenburg sticker at Karoe Bultong. <laughs> Why do you love Stradenburg? I do. <laughs> but look at this beautiful yard, yeah. I'm, I'm totally blown away by Stradenburg. It's a vibe thing, right? Yes. The atmosphere. It's I, I, just picked it up, I picked it up from our guest house. Already. How calm and chill. Exactly. The, calm. The feeling, and I still get that feeling. And I so admire calm in anything and anyone. Look at this. It's beautiful. And we get many questions of emails and people asking us. Out of all the towns we visited, which ones would we pick? <laughs> it's so difficult. No, well, we can't. Yeah. There are so many nice little towns. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't be able to. And yeah, and what I mean is, yes, another one. Stratenburg is another lovely town. Fantastic. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. And like you said earlier, the large um, stands. Yes. These are what looks like the beginnings of a vegetable garden. Oh, okay. But I'm not sure. Is it vegetable? Oh, it definitely looks like pumpkins that are growing there. Oh, definitely. Oh, it's dry and I've stopped. Not sure. Yeah. And right there is the highway. Yep. Can we just stop? Yes. So we chatted to the lady here yes. who lives on the corner. She says the the trucks we heard at night, they actually come and sleep on the main road, uh, probably for safety. Yes. But then they came down the side street here. To make a U-turn or something. Night before last, and they knocked over that pole. Wow. That's why it's blocked off. Crazy. She gave us some very interesting, interesting information. Especially about the church. Yeah. So apparently this, the original church was broke down, and they rebuilt this new church in yes. its place. When a new minister started, yes. right? Is this the one she spoke about? Yes, look at it. Is this one that she said it's the what? She says this is the old reformed church. Okay. Which was sold to someone and is now sadly just being used as a store. Oh, I think that it, is sad. Yeah, it is. Incredible. What a gorgeous little building. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh, it even has the cross on the roof. On the still. roof, still, yeah. 
they could definitely do something more with this. I think even if you turn it into a residence, it would be beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then this is a sad story, yes. if this is the right building. It is. It is, because there's the National Monument, the monument. sign. It was a National Monument, this. So they were rigging this up as a museum. And it just... And it never got, it never got off, off the off ground, the ground yeah. I think. That's is sad. And she can't tell us what building it was. No, I, I, I don't know. We got so much information, yeah. I might have missed that. I can't remember telling us what it was. Do you want to take a quick walk through? I want to, if I can get in there. So you can see this is where the National Monument emblem was. Oh man. Let me see if I can get in here. Virginia. All the wooden floors have been taken out, yeah? Yeah, sad. I wonder what this was. This fireplace. You can be glad you can't smell what it smells like, yeah. Must have been a kitchen. This must have been someone's house. Oh, definitely. The fact that this was a national monument, it must have been a special building. No doubt. Yeah. It looks like they've changed the facade and stuff, eh? Well, hey? They try to restore it, but I. Somehow they've stopped. <laughs> but That's it's been sad. wrecked inside with all the floors that have been removed and stuff. That's sad. Now look how nice this one looks. Love this too. Is this not perhaps the retirement? This is the retirement. Yes. Place. This is the retirement. Okay, place. I think yeah. Oh definitely, yeah. I can't help it, I like what I see. <laughs> Do you know what word comes to mind here? What? Authentic. Oh yeah. Is this the back of the hotel? Yes, it is. Even got garages. In the past the guests used to come and park in garages. So, we have to then assume that in its heyday it was a pretty big facility it looks like it eh? with many guest rooms then yeah. look at it it was a big place wow There's the symmetry. Okay. You know, 
Municipal Cemetery, Strydenburg. All right. There's a chain. I don't know if you can get in. I can. The lady we spoke to says it's um, neat. Very because neat, it's yeah. being maintained by um, a farmer and his wife. Yes. Which is fantastic to see, eh? We're going to have a look. Okay. That side looks some pretty old graves. Telling you there are some old gravestones here. And here. I don't know which way to which side to go, so I'm gonna start this side and have a look at what I can find. Wow, what are these graves? These are just numbered and it looks as if many of them there are no gravestones on them, so unknown people. Isaac Francois Nel Swiggers, born on the 22nd of April 1900 and passed away, oh, passed away on the 19th of March 1907. Seven years old. Oh, terrible. Christoffel Jacobus Jacobs was born on the 11th of May 1834, passed away on the 29th of November 1907. Peter Jacobus Vid, 25th of March 1890, 28th October 1965. And then Francina Elizabeth Vid, who was born Snaywan, born 21 October 1893, passed away the 2nd of August 1971. These gravestones are so impressive from a distance there. Yeah. Erasmus Stephanus Jacobs, born 14 November 1853, passed away 14 June 1932. Susanna Jacobs, she was born Swiggers, born 15 May 1858, passed away 3 September 1947. As we came driving in, You know, we always touched, especially by children's graves, yes, right? Yes, yes. I was just sitting reading all the gravestones and this was very touching. This was a boy three months shy of 18. Oh boy. Adrian Ludovicus, they called him Alu. And you can just feel the tenderness and the deep sense of loss from his parents. So so sad. Yeah. Your bedroofde ouders. Oh. oh. Now on the other side there, I saw um, a grave of a young boy of seven. Just, just didn't reach seven. Oh. Passed away. And it is exceptionally tidy and <laughs> clean. Very tidy. That is fantastic. Yeah. little bit I found about Stradenberg online is that it was laid out by the Dutch Reformed Church in 1892 on the farm Ruededam. Okay. But this is funny about how the town got its name. It's Stradenberg, they translated as the town of strife, received its rather doleful name on account of incessant squabbling over of all things, the choice of name. <laughs> That's so the, the first town got its name because the people were arguing, arguing about, about the name. <laughs> <laughs> That's cr yeah, it's uh, crazy. <laughs> uh, and a famous person from here is uh, the well-known Afrikaans author, F.R. Fenter. That's the Strydenburg Skougronde. Show and sports grounds. Crazy. 
completely gone. But you can see it must have been a pretty place in its no. day. The lady says that there was some facility here being used to house the farm implements yeah. that were being rented out to farmers in the area. But then that never worked and the, I think there was theft. Well, the turnstile still works, but I don't have to buy, pay for a ticket. So like Sonny said, uh, apparently um, the owner of the place used to keep farming implements here which he wanted to lease out or rent out to the uh, farmers in the area and they were stored here somewhere but with all the break-ins they had and theft they just left everything so it's totally demolished basically. Really interesting. This must have been the kitchen area where they prepared foods and stuff for show days and I can just imagine the excitement and the fun that people used to have here. So you can see this was the stands and this is most probably where they had sports events or paraded animals and the people used to sit here looking at them. I think they must have had so much fun. Look at the hoof imprints. And right next door a sports field or actually just tennis courts but there are nets on so and they look pretty neat. It looks as if it does get used and the gates locked so I'm sure some of these courts get used. Sad about the showgrounds. Totally non-operational, right? Well, totally destroyed. And just to think, my mind always plays memories, and I always do this with every single place I visit, is I see what used to happen. I can imagine the the shows that they used to have with their animals, the agricultural shows and the fun that used to be going on here, the food cooking and the smells and sounds. But yeah. it's fantastic that you can see yeah. that stuff. Because that's the history yeah. and it'll always be. Look at this house. Big house is vacant. Yep. Wow. And all the windows intact. That's not a sight that we often see. Yes. <laughs> this is like it's twin but it's occupied. Okay, so we are looking for the school and the hostel. This looks more like the school to me and this looks more like the hostel. But let's kind of have a look. Let's investigate. We don't know the full story, but that lady definitely said that the hostel, they tried, there were 80 kids at one point. Yeah, when, when she, she was, was there. Here. Yeah. Um, and uh, she says that they wanted to remove a swarm of bees and then they, I don't know, started a fire and the fire got out of control and the place burned down. Yeah, they wanted to smoke out the bees with a fire yes. and then they burnt the building down. I just want to now go inside to see if this was the school or the hostel. So 
Sonia thinks it's the hostel. I think it's the school. I don't know. I get the classroom feeling. What? This must have been the quadrangle where they used to get together before school started. Uh, ablution facilities. Mm, might be. Sonia might be right. <laughs> No, this is definitely, all the wooden floors have been taken up. This was the classroom. There was the blackboard. Put up things over there. No, definitely a classroom. Oh yeah. I think this was the offices for the principal and the secretary. Is this safe? Oh, for sure. Check, they even broke in here to get into the safe to see if they could, what they could steal, if there's anything valuable inside here. This is a school tie. Yeah. So you've come to the conclusion that this was the school? I, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it was the school. Look, this is, you can see the school Definitely the school. Look. Most probably Strijdenburg Hoer School. Yeah. Karo Bokum. Hey, yes, the municipal offices. Oh, Tembelichle. Okay. That sounds. We've been in Tembelice before, haven't we? I think so. And this is the library, this oh, side. That side. Yes. Oh, this is a cute house. house. Wrap around porch. Look at this one. And then, of course, my roof. Yeah. These are fancy. They've got double roofs. Yo. They've turned that wrap around porch into part of the house. That does look like a pan, doesn't it? Yes, it is. Because they say the town is situated at the edge of a large pan filled with shallow, salty water during rainy years. So I think that must be it. That must be it. You can see all the white salt there. Just there past the cemetery where we were earlier. I just like to say to all of you that are out there that are not in South Africa watching this video, please look at me enjoying this drove horse we bought here in Stradenburg.
and I must be honest with you, I've already tasted a piece. It's one of the nicest droog horses I have ever tasted. Really? Seriously. Okay, and I haven't tasted a piece I'm yet. I'm telling you, it is delicious. That I let you taste inside? Mm. <laughs> I hope you guys are chalaying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure many are, because I am. That is stunning. <laughs> okay, mm. my turn. Okay, now we can tick off Straitenburg. It was a major detour, but we've made it and we've seen it, and I am really happy we came to see Straitenburg. It was worth it. Um, I love Straitenburg. Yeah, no, it was absolutely stunning. <laughs>